Hey YouTube, I'm Mr. Idiot here with a video of showing you a technique that I made putting the Apple TV One Navi X on it. So I have it on my connected to my TV right here, and my firmware is 3.0.2, which is the latest one. So I'm gonna show you that I have Navi X running on it because there's a way that people tell you how, which sometimes doesn't work for you people. So this is like a new technique that I actually made so just go and show you that it successfully works so programs navi x right there and boom right there so you get the point and people know what to do so let me just go back and you're gonna have to need some things first of all you're gonna have to need an apple tv jailbroken and you have MB xbmc obviously so just gonna close it up and actually for this you don't need your IP address you just need it on and just ready on the same exact network as you have it for a wireless router you're gonna have to same I have to have it on the same exact router as your laptop which I have it right here so you're gonna have to need some files first of all you're gonna have to have win SCP for host file for editing edit ed editing it <clears throat> wirelessly so because you can't use USB on it and Navi X 3.75 so first you're gonna have to open win a CP and press yes and it comes up a message right here for the host name you're gonna have to write Apple TV dot local so Apple TV dot local and the username is going to be front row. The password is front row. Okay. Front row. And press login. And should connect. Just got to wait for it. And boom, you're in it. Okay, there's a new part which you're going to have to go right here. You're going to have to go to the root file just gotta wait for that after you go to the root file you're gonna have to look for MNT which I will go right here you're gonna find the mouse MNT double click on that uh, scratch users front row applications xpmc.app okay you double click on the contents Mm, XPMC add-ons and there you go so this is all the apps the add-ons and XPMC so right here you're gonna have to go to documents I mean desktop excuse me and Navi X is right there you're gonna have to drag every add-on you want to do and drag it here so drag it copy and mine is already there so I don't want to do that so I'll just click cancel because I already have it there and that's it all your add-ons are on it so after you added the add-on you're gonna X this out press OK and you can power off your laptop so then you go back to your Apple TV and just for reasons plug it out plug it back in this is something I actually seen and actually figured it out by myself so just gotta wait for it and there's GMI 2 the Apple logo and they actually running 1080p on this but I have it set to 1080p so I'm good on this, so I'm pretty happy with it. So after it loads up, it's gonna come up with the screen. And it's gonna show the man on the screen, which probably Apple TV always shows up. After that.
Okay. So after it loads up, you go to launcher XPMC and open that. And then after it loads up, you go to programs. Oh, I'm the, excuse me. You go to settings, system, add-ons, and enabled add-ons, video add-ons, and they're all there. So you go back and program add-ons and they're right there also so both add-ons that I put video add-ons and program add-ons are both on it so when you go back all the way to the main screen go to programs boom Hulu library auto update Navi X and respiratory installer so I open up Navi X and you go to the media portal and there you go let me just play a movie for now and gonna go to the movie just press ok just around the movie and there you go so thank you for watching youtube peace